what I do um, teach you guys. And if for whatever reason, this is something you guys want to do, it can be a little help to you guys, you know? I feel like YouTube and Instagram are dying out. I 100% feel like Instagram and YouTube is dying out. I don't think it's dying out. I think it's the me already doing the YouTube video. <laughs> I don't think that it's dying out. I just think that people, ah, people are starting to finally see the value within themselves, if that makes sense. And I feel like before people used to live through people living their dreams and it's like now people are starting to realize like hey like i want to live my dreams i want to do that too i want to buy myself the big house i want to buy myself the nice car like i think people are starting to realize that the dream is not happening by visually seeing somebody doing it but like doing it for yourself you get what i'm saying so like i love that i love that for social media and i love that people are starting to really post like organic content and like content that they love content that they do i feel like the transition that's going to happen with social media is basically the influencers that are providing valuable content whether that's you know actually something that they're good at whether you follow your favorite influencer because they have a lot of amazing fashion posts and it's like you guys have your people you know like you're gonna follow say you follow me and you're like okay i really love how this girl dresses so I want to like follow this girl because I'm going to be able to get inspo with my outfit and not like, oh, I'm following this girl because she lives the life that I want to live and I'm just living through her. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I don't I don't know if that makes sense, but what lashes are you wearing? Oh, <laughs> somebody just sent me a hat. I don't know what that means variety and community is growing why haven't you had long nails lately are you over them no i'm not over them i just feel like um they needed to rest a little bit so i'm actually letting them grow i don't know if you guys can see that they're finally growing a little but but yeah that's kind of where i'm at <laughs> that's kind of what i think is happening so i'm really excited to just share with you guys that and for the people who actually want to know about that stuff some people are just like mm, whatever <laughs> i don't care so i don't know what <laughs> what these little like things are but they're cute don't use makeup dissolver this time oh my god i don't think i have it in here but I was so sad that day. I was like, what the fuck? Only my dumb ass would do some shit like that. I saw you at Walmart on Sunday. I was too shy to say hi. Oh, don't be shy. You should have said hi. Okay, so I'm going in there with my fiery blush. And this is the one from the Aries palette. Honestly, guys, the formula on this whole collection is chef's kiss like you guys are going to be obsessed and i cannot wait for you guys to start creating looks with it but i love how the palette is just like you have your shadows and then you have your highlight and blush all in one so it's going to be really easy for you to be able to travel with and it's going to be really easy for you to just kind of like pack into your bag and like just take one palette if that's like the case and even if you take all three they stack up really nicely and then you can just you know stack them up really nice um and they don't take up a lot of room but the blush and the highlights and ugh, everything i'm just obsessed obsessed <laughs> you're all cute looking and i'm just at home but, uh, dude that was me yesterday like yesterday i didn't even like got a glamour or anything um i actually went on a date with elisa's and i didn't even do my makeup i was like i'm going bared face i am not gonna do my makeup i'm not gonna I just put on some jeans and a cute top and called it a day because I was cleaning all day. I decluttered the kids' playroom. Um, I'm getting the house just ready and cleaned up for you guys. That way, when we do our home tour, um, everything looks put together. But are you excited for fall? I'm so excited for fall. You know why I'm really excited for fall, though? I feel like um, I, fall for me is very chill. So I feel like fall is usually the time where it's like more cozy season so i'm at home a little bit more i feel like i'm i feel a little bit more present i feel like i'm a little bit more slowed down as opposed to like spring and fall i mean spring and summer it's like very fast paced like we're out we're doing stuff we're like working and we're doing so much so that's what i just really love about fall 
loving the makeup thank you i'm so 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 excited um that you guys like the makeup just because i feel like i haven't really been on my makeup game in like five years <laughs> she's coming back in like five years um but if i'm being completely honest with you guys hold on let me grab my lip kits um if i'm being completely completely honest with you guys i'm actually really excited about the transition that's happening on social media just because i feel like i started social media because i really loved makeup and fashion and the fact that tiktok's giving us the opportunity to be able to like show our creativity again and be a little bit more creative on the platforms um i love that like i've always loved the vlogging too don't get me wrong but like just being creative and really like getting myself out of my comfort zone i'm just really really loving especially with like the fashion stuff um do you want more kids no i don't want any more kids um, i'm gonna actually do a video i do want more kids but i'm gonna do a video about what's been happening and why i'm just not gonna have any more kids but that's that's a different story so my lip kits are these and i am so excited a lot of you guys have been posting um that you guys have been receiving the lip kits and honestly i'm just excited to show you guys i mean to see you guys wearing the actual um lipsticks so i was gonna go in there with leo baby but i think i'm gonna go in there with scorpio instead just because um it has a little bit more of mauvey tones and my blush is a little bit more mauvey but the kits do come with a lip liner and a, a lipstick oh somebody just sent me a twerking dog <laughs> And the pencils are super big as well. If you guys got the collection, um, then you guys already got the lip pencil. So you guys know how much product is in this lip pencil. Let me show you guys a different lip pencil. So say like Kylie's lip kit, you get about that much more product. Let me see. You know, so you guys do get a lot of product. And I also went with a pencil lip liner um, instead of a pencil like this just because i don't know if you guys have this problem but you guys see how like that happens um not me shading um the lip kit or anything because this happens a lot of people have this type of lip product um but i hate that when that happens to my lipsticks and you know you spend a lot of money so i went old school and i did a lip um wooded lip pencil for that reason so we wouldn't have to worry about it falling out i'm trying to look for my sharpener about it falling out yes i hate when that happens yeah i hate it too and i'm just like it's so annoying so i was like i'm just gonna go old school so getting the formula to its buttery consistency was very challenging but i feel like we nailed it to get it to a really just nice creamy formula for you guys um from your big three what shows your character more moon or your rising myself or in general i feel like um my emotions are very aries like i feel like i'm very impulsive i don't really think about what i say sometimes i don't really think about um what comes out of my mouth i just kind of say it um so that can be really like good but then also get me really into trouble but then the way that i feel like i carry myself i feel like i definitely can resonate towards a scorpio like i definitely can see the scorpio energy where i'm just kind of like very analytical like i just kind of sit there and like analyze the room um and just kind of read people and then i base my decisions on how i feel but that's just kind of that's just kind of how i feel <laughs> that i feel like i resonate personally definitely a leo I definitely do. I mean, I am a Leo, but. Like, I have a lot of Leo traits, but um, I don't feel like I'm ab obnoxiously, like, a Leo the way people like to make Leos seem like. Oh, like a Leo, when she comes in, she's just, like, loud and crazy. And, like, she's the first person to, like, let it be known that she's here and she's